Hi, this is Standalone Fighter here for an updated version of my Sega Dreamcast emulator tutorial. This tutorial is meant to replace the old tutorial um, because the old tutorial is over one year old now and um, yeah, it just needs a bit of updating. This tutorial um, will be much easier and simpler to set up and understand than the previous tutorial. The first thing you will have to do is go to the uTorrent website and um, download their software. There will be a link in the description um, taking you directly to the website where you can download the software. Um, download it and install it. Once you have finished downloading and installing the uTorrent software, you will need to go to the Pirate Bay website. Um, there will be a link in the description to uh, give you a direct link um, and you have to download the file and then open it with uTorrent. Ok, now that you have downloaded the Sega Dreamcast emulator um, in uTorrent you want to open up the folder by right clicking on the download and clicking open containing folder to open up the contents of your download now that you have opened the contents of your folder you'll see another folder called install this first navigate your way inside the folder and install the software you must install this software for the emulator to work now that you have installed the software, navigate your way to the folder called Sega Dreamcast Emulator and inside that folder you'll see an application called nulldc underscore win32 underscore release dash no trace. Open up that application. Once you have opened up that application you should see this. Now that you have loaded the emulator, we need to test the emulator. You test the emulator by clicking on System and then Start. Now click on No Disk. Now that you have done that, you should see this. If you get that, then congratulations, you have now successfully set up your Sega Dreamcast emulator. I think it is worth noting that um, for this tutorial, the BIOS files have already been set up for you, and the memory cards have also been set up for you. Because in my last tutorial, I noticed that people were struggling to get the BIOS to work and struggling to figure out how to get the memory cards to work. So that's why I have pre-configured them, so you do not have to worry about that. You will also not have to worry about um, running out of space of memory cards because you will have 8 of them. I also noticed that in the previous tutorial people were struggling to figure out how to um, get controls for the emulator so that's why I have put in the description the keys um, to show you what button does what so you'll be able to play your games with the controls if you want to play this game with a controller um, I will be doing that in a separate tutorial because it's a bit fiddly when doing that. Now that your emulator is working, you will need to download some games um, to play on your emulator. To download a game, just simply go to um, the description underneath this video and there you'll see a list of games. Now you download these games in the exact same way as you downloaded the emulator. You go to the Pirate Bay website, you download the uTorrent file, open it up with uTorrent, download the file, and then um, you'll have your game downloaded. Now that you have downloaded the game and you have your emulator working properly, you need to open up the emulator and then click on system then start 
and then you need to find a directory for where you have saved the game. Once you found once you have found that directory, just click on OK and the game will load and you'll be able to play it. Here is an example of a game that I have emulated. Thank you for watching my tutorial, um, I hope this helped you a lot and if you have any questions you can email me at information at standalonefighter.co.uk and you can also visit the website but um, I still have not updated the website for, um, for the new tutorial so that will be coming soon but uh, it could take a while because I'm incredibly lazy.